Hello everyone, I have decided to do a few videos explaining basic concepts in motorsport and beyond uh, to follow up on my newsletter that I write on LinkedIn uh, every week or every two weeks called Dig Deep. And um, I'm going to start explaining, of course, motorsport topics, which I think are the most interesting from basics to more complex. And I'll be more than happy to get, to get some suggestions from you guys uh, on which videos to do next. So today's video is going to be about racing line. How do the racing drivers choose the optimum or the best racing line? And what's the theory behind it? And what can you learn uh, when you're next driving your car or, or your go-kart, anything with four wheels uh, on, on a racing track? So you have to understand that by driving, you're trying to maximize tire forces, which means uh, either braking as hard and as best as you can or cornering as best as you can or a combination of both. There is a lot of complex stuff like downforce, um, the tire uh, construction, and some many other topics that varies a lot the, uh, the fine tuning technique, but today we're gonna cover the basics. So imagine you have a car uh, in, a, in a normal racetrack, right? And we're gonna have the tire vector. The tire is a vector. So we have longitudinal, lateral, and the vector of the both forces, which is basically the um, a square root of the sum of the squares of the longitudinal and lateral, but you don't need to know that. Just need to know that we have longitudinal and lateral. When the car is actually braking at maximum capacity in a straight line, you're using four tires to stop the car. So to, to maximize the longitudinal force, which is this red dot over there. Then you're going to have the entry phase of the corner, which is you can see on the blue line there on the track, but also on the tire vector, the combined force between longitudinal and lateral, because at that moment you are turning and braking at the same time. In an optimum theoretical corner, you're always either braking a little bit, so the braking goes from maximum to minimum, or you're accelerating, goes from minimum to maximum. And uh, this rate of deacceleration and braking acceleration depends on the tire capacity and how the car is positioned on the corner. But always you're gonna have a combination of both. When you transition from braking to acceleration, that's called the apex, where is the point in the corner that you have only lateral forces on the four tires, but we're gonna see that in a minute. So you have the combination of forces there, and then the car reaches the apex that we just talked about, which is, where the forces goes to fully lateral, this orange dot over there. And then when the car is at this fully lateral loaded, all the force of the tire is on the lateral side. You have, you're not accelerating, neither deaccelerating the car. Then you start an acceleration phase, which is the green part, when you can see on the graph, but also on the racetrack. This means you're accelerating with only two wheels um, while you brake, braking was with four wheels so the, the the lines and the vector of the tires are slightly different but again the rear tires which are the important tires in this phase they are at maximum slip lateral and longitudinal so you're applying throttle slowly then you're gonna have the full acceleration part which is the pink part when the car is completely straight and you can go full throttle and basically the tires stop producing any lateral force, so no lateral Gs, and the car only accelerates, which you can see in the pink phase. And there you can see that the car goes from fully braking to fully acceleration. Um, this is a basic concept. Uh, I'm gonna explain in detail when downforce involved, center of gravity mass, differential, um, setup, that the car is under steer over steer, what you need to do, and much more stuff. It actually requires probably a few hours video, uh, but I'm going to leave it here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube and Instagram and LinkedIn channel and see you in the next video.